You know, it's been quite a year for Barry Gibb and his brothers. Their single one hit the top ten on the Billboard charts. They had a great world tour, and more exciting things are about to happen. We had a chance to sit down with Barry to talk about his career and his commitment to this great festival. Well, it's been wonderful. I mean, uh, we've had a sort of um, hiatus for about uh, four or five years. Uh, we didn't really make an album, or, or um, we concentrated on f uh, focusing on other artists and writing for other artists, which, uh, which I think was very good for us in the long run, because uh, it broadened our songwriting, uh, helped us to stretch a little bit. We were fortunate in seeing um, a lot of Europe uh, in the year that all the changes took place, you know, the, um, the German situation with the wall coming down, and uh, um, uh, Holland and Switzerland and um, France, um, we saw a lot of Europe at the, uh, the, at the right time, you know, at the right climate and, the, and with all the uh, radical changes that are going on. It was very exciting. I think the Bee Gees are moving more towards R&B soul. Um, and that's what we've always called our music, you know, even when, even when some people called it disco, it, it was still R&B soul music to us, and, uh, or it was a derivative of um, uh, Tamil Motown music, mm -hmm. and, which is still our first love. And um, we think that that's missing. We think that more people should make, uh, write songs and record songs like that. I think there's more social comment in our, in our music than there used to be. I think, that's, I think one, the song one, had more of a universal concept to it than just a you and me type of song. I think it, it meant a lot more. Uh, politically and socially than uh, just uh, you and I should be one. I think it meant that we all should be one. I, my vision is that, uh, or maybe not vision is the wrong word, my, my dream is to one day see a, a planet that's not uh, multi countryed but in fact unified completely. And uh, I think that's within, a, I, that's within my lifetime, I think it'll happen. We've got a box set coming out which covers our whole career. That comes out um, this year, this summer. And, um, and a TV long-form video special. Uh, two or three different TV specials uh, are all coming out uh, during this year. So it's, uh, the next 12 months is pretty much taken care of. And then um, in, in uh, the next, I think next summer, we go back on the road again uh, to cover all of Europe and the United States. And I think his spirit is with us all. Uh, I always feel that he's with me when I'm on stage. Um, there's always a microphone open in case he wants to sing. We feel that uh, Florida was his home, you know. Um, and I think that uh, his spirit is there at the, uh, at the tournament every year, you know. And uh, we're still one. Diabetes uh, and the Diabetes Research Institute is the closest charity to me. Um, my, my grandmother has diabetes. Um, a lot of my friends, uh, a lot of people that I've come to know uh, uh, either have diabetes or are related to someone that has diabetes. And I think it's a very important cause. And it, um, For me, six years ago, I was a pop, pop artist in search of a cause. You know, I sort of, uh, uh, I moved here 12 years ago and, and I felt like I was living here, but I felt like I was just living here and not really contributing anything. And I wanted to do that. Barry's efforts are paying off. Proceeds from his festival go to the Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami School of Medicine. The scientists here are recognized worldwide. They've pioneered techniques in patient care and transplantation, techniques which could ultimately reverse and cure diabetes. At the Diabetes Research Institute, the future is exciting. The DRI is recruiting 19 teams of the world's finest scientists and clinicians. Ground has been broken, and soon these researchers will work together in one place. The new state-of-the-art Diabetes Research Institute and its Eleanor and Joseph Casso Diagnostic Treatment Center. The building is made possible in large part by the AFL-CIO's Building and Construction Trades Department. When completed in the fall of 1991, this facility will be the largest of its kind anywhere in the world. Scientists here will work for one purpose, to launch an all-out assault on diabetes, on a scale and at a pace never before possible, with one promise, to find a cure for diabetes. One place, one purpose, one promise. The Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami School of Medicine.